Greetings everyone. I'm back down at the build site and um, I had moved the Branson 3725 from the mill back down here and when I went to uh, unload the tractor it started fine. I got it down here. I parked it in this spot and when I went to put in the ramps and put the pellet forks on the front of the tractor. When I went back to the tractor, it wouldn't start. So it sounded like a, a dead battery. There was no electronics that were turned on to drain it down. Uh, I think the battery just had finally seen um, its end of life. Uh, it's a little over five years old, so that sounds about right for that particular um, battery. I didn't film the process of taking it out when I was doing that yesterday. But uh, I'll give you some shots of putting it back in um, and we'll see if it fires up. Let's get going. So in order to get the battery out, I had to disconnect this electrical connection. Um, you just push a little tab here and this part will roll down and the electrical connection pops out and comes undone. And uh, I think that's the, kind of like the computer brain for the tractor. And then there's a bolt on this side that has a 12 millimeter head. And one on this side. And once those are undone, the battery bracket will come out. And uh, you can just swing it out of the way. The battery bracket also holds the overflow for the um, radiator and the computer brain there. So let me get this camera set down and we'll get that stuff unbolted and get the battery in. Swing the uh, bracket back in place. Get the bolts with the millimeter head started. Dropped both of them. <laughs> Sorry, that might have been loud. Landed right by you. All right. Let's tighten these guys up. He's going the right way there. Oh, right the first time. Plug back in. All right. Let me sure I'm. There we go. And it clips in right there. All right. Next, I'll have to get something to pull off those terminal covers, and uh, we'll get the battery cables hooked back up. I'll be right back. Negative cover and the positive cover. All right, let's get that uh, positive cable on. Get that started. Oh, we 
you know what I should have done? I should have left the bracket off. It's a lot easier to tighten those cables. All right, don't make that mistake. Let's get that bracket off, get it out of the way, because uh, it'll be much easier to do those cables. Well, we get to see this process you missed the first time. There we go. All right, that is definitely more room to work. So the battery terminals take a 10 millimeter. positive first. That way we don't arc anything. Alright. That's tight. And now we will do the negative. something to hold that. It wants to spin on this side. that little piece right here that is supposed to hold that from spinning just needs to be persuaded back to its spot. I guess it's been abused too much. I'm just going to get under this here. There we go. All right, and it's time. Let me get that cover back on now. That popped off. Let's see, how does that work? That just clips okay. There we go. And that's back on. All right. Do that for the third time. We'll find the bolts. Should be hiding in a pocket. So I'm going to try to get some more tractor um, videos. There isn't a lot. There is not a lot of videos out there that I found on the Branson tractor um, as it's not a real popular brand so far. Um, I know I had uh, difficulty finding any kind of information on it when I first was looking and I priced the John Deere, I priced the Kubota, and I really wanted a deer because I thought, oh, you know, American made, great, perfect. Well, the more I started researching the John Deere, their tractors of this size are not made in America. They're actually an Asian tractor. So I thought, well, if I can't really get an American made tractor, 
have to buy an Asian tractor, might as well shop around all, all the Asian ones. And turns out I was able to get more options standard on my Branson tractor than I would have gotten with the other tractors and I paid $10,000 less. So, um, very happy with the, the value I got on the Branson. Um, I just wish the dealership was a little closer. They're about, um, I would say they're probably about six hours away from me, almost. So it's quite a hike uh, if I have to take it up there for any kind of service. So anyway, uh, enough yip yapping. Um, let me hop up there and we'll see if we can get the, if it'll actually start. All right, I'm just gonna wait for the glow plug indicator to go off and, all right, let's see if that battery's good to go. Real good. Uh, that battery must have been low because that fired a lot faster than uh, the, the last few times I had fired up the tractor with the old battery. So um, to let this warm up a little bit, it's kind of chilly out this morning. It's in the uh, high 30s, low 40s, and um, get the pallet forks loaded up on this and park the tractor. I hope this video on changing the battery on the Branson 3725 tractor was helpful. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.